so I'm feeling really good because I know that feeling is key and it works. Uh, after doing some running in town and I got home and my partner was in a foul mood and which is which is and I bring that up because oftentimes um, the pattern is that he because of the Asperger's I'm just gonna go with that has been the predominant um, patterning and experiences that we've had is that um, he becomes very argumentative, but also he blames me for <laughs> whatever, for his emotional, you know, state and uh, the way he talks, the tone of voice he uses, the agitation in the voice, all of that conspires to usually trigger me to the point where I would, even if I was in a good mood and I wasn't having any issues, I could get drawn in almost immediately into um, the dominant feelings that he was offering. And because I'm really feeling the um, Edward Art Supply Hands Imagining is Fun Part 5 um, from his series on Reddit, I'm really, really taken into heart. I've really set into uh, motion this um, this persistence, this um, hmm, this new allowing of mine to choose how I'm going to feel, no matter what's going on outside of me, no matter what the situation or who the person is or whatever, just whatever it is that's offering me anything unwanted. So, I could, um, I could sense that it would be super easy for me to choose not to feel good and to join him there, and then I could be argumentative, or I could get angry, or I could feel hurt or upset, <coughs> and uh, basically just kind of blow my my good feeling state of beingness, right? And I didn't do that. I didn't even feel like that was... Um, on the table. It didn't even feel like that was on the table to join him in any of that jazz. And so what I'm going to refer to that experiences as echoes of the old state dying because if I'm not joining it, it's, it's not going to survive without my attention without my giving my power away and I'm simply not doing that and I'm not you know I'm not being obnoxious or <laughs> condescending or anything about it I'm just um, yeah I'm I'm more focused on giving myself what I want so in my mind in my uh, unseen world I immediately started giving myself the feeling of, isn't it wonderful how Charles is waking up in the mornings feeling better, feeling relief from um, negative emotion? Isn't it wonderful how easy it is now that we're both giving ourselves what we want on the inner to ourself by how we're feeling, how we're choosing to feel. And see, so it doesn't matter that he has Asperger's. It doesn't matter that it's been a pattern of his since he was a child. 
all those narratives and all those beliefs and all those um, past experiences that he's been wrapped up in and he's been dominant in, in how he moves with his feeling um, states has nothing to do with me has nothing to do with my reality in the sense that it's there, that, all of that can change. All of that is changing simply because I'm not joining him or anyone or anything in a, in a dance <laughs> that doesn't feel good to me, that doesn't, that is not wanted by me. And I, uh, And I know that I've already made the shift because I didn't feel the hurt or the or any of the old patterned um, thoughts or feelings activate in my body, which is always where I would feel it first. I, my feeling um, always indicated uh, with long-term patterns always uh, in my heart center or my stomach or just a, a, a general um, feeling of, of dis-ease um, and anxiety uh, would always um, I could always feel it activated immediately within my own body, within the body of my outer, right, <laughs> of my outer world. And so um, this is experiential evidence that my attention has been given priority to exalting the self and that nothing is going to stop me from doing that except me and I have no intention of doing that and I have no interest in doing that. So that's, and then where I go to next is I go to the potter's shed. I work, I rework the clay. And let me tell you something. My relationship with my partner is not something that I need to throw away. I don't need to discard it. Just because he has whatever um, patterns of of how he deals with his emotional self. Um, that's not, I don't need to fix him and I don't need to fix anyone. All I need to do is rework, revision, revise what feeling I'm giving to myself. And so it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't matter that, um, he can be moody as fuck. Um, that he, he's using whatever as reasons or excuses or, or, or not any of it. I don't have to defend my, myself. I don't have to judge him. I don't have to be critical. I don't have to feel um, hopeless. I don't have to feel uh, frustrated or angry or upset. Because those are all feeling states, right? They're all states of feeling. And I'm in charge of what I'm feeling. I'm in charge of what I'm giving to myself. And if I don't like something, I give myself what I want. Or I hear him say what I want. And I 
give that to myself. I go to the end, right, of the wish fulfilled. The wish fulfilled is, isn't it wonderful how easy it is to just feel good with Charles, no matter how he's feeling, no matter what he says, no matter how he says it, because none of that is more important or more dominant over how I'm feeling, how I choose to feel, and all the thoughts and everything that is important for my life experience unfolds for me effortlessly. And that's how this works. That's how this, how these teachings um, can completely transform the self, which the self then completely transforms the outer experience that you're having, but also your inner experience as well. But it starts with you. It starts with me. It starts with what I'm giving to myself and feeling, feeling always comes first. And then the thoughts that support that feeling follow. See, I'm getting it. This is so big, you guys. This is so huge. This is what it's all about. Get this down. Practice with it as much as you can. Go easy on yourself. Don't worry if you, you know, don't quite always succeed in the moment. Go back. Go to the Potter Shed, revision, revision revise, um, rework the clay until you're giving yourself the feeling that you want. Every one and everything else has to reshuffle and fall into place for your experience. And the only way that you're ever going to know that what I'm telling you is true is if you test it out for yourself, right? So test it out for yourself if you want to. <laughs> if not, hey, it's cool. I'm going to still be here doing my thing and sharing what is working for me. And I'm feeling so much gratitude for these teachings and for your presence and being present with me. And I hope that my um, ex my sharing my experience with you gives you the, the little bit of um, you know whatever you need to feel supportive and to to give it a try yourself so until we talk again friend